Welcome to the introduction to Workforce for ArcGIS. I'm Toby from the Esri Australia Solutions team, and I'm going to show you how Workforce for ArcGIS is used to assign tasks to workers in the field and report jobs done back to the office. Workforce is one of the many applications available in the ArcGIS platform. The apps in this diagram, and many more not shown here, are interconnected, so you can access data created in one app in another. Each app caters for a different user experience, allowing you to share your workforce data with executives, analysts, field workers, and even the public, so those without GIS experience and skills are able to understand your data and use it to make decisions. These apps can be split into three categories, apps for the field, apps for the office, and apps for the public. Workforce is administered in the office and used in the field and can connect to public apps that are used to collect or share data sets. Today we're going to look at a hydrant inspection case study which uses the Workforce desktop and mobile applications as well as Navigator, Collector, Survey123 and Operations Dashboard. All of these applications are connected through our organisational ArcGIS Online account. I can sign into Workforce straight from the website using my ArcGIS Online credentials. The first page we see is the project dashboard. Here I can see projects that I have created or that have been shared with me by the team. I'll click on the Hydrant project that my colleague is administering to open it up. In this demo, I'm going to use a Fire Hydrant example to show you how to assign a job using Workforce, how to respond to the request as a field worker, and how to monitor operations. This Workforce browser application is used by the office team to make assignments and monitor workers. In the map interface on the right, you can see we have added features to this project, where red hydrants represent 40 hydrants and the blue hydrants are functional. You can see that I can view and filter assignments and view workers. I'm going to go to the location of myself by clicking on my name in the workers tab. We are now in Canberra. I have just received a report from the local police station saying that a car has hit a hydrant on Furno Street. I'm going to create an assignment for someone to go and inspect the hydrant. All I have to do is click on the hydrant and create an assignment. Here I can choose the assignment type. I know that the hydrant will probably need to be repaired, but first we need to inspect it to see what needs to be done. Assignments do not have to be connected to pre-existing features. I could just add a location, but in this case, the assignments are linked directly to features. I will add an ID number to link this information back to my business information system database. And I will also add a photograph that I have received from the police report. It looks okay, but it's worth checking. I then hit create assignment. As a field worker, this creates a notification on my phone. I'm now opening the Workforce mobile app where I can see the job has come through and I can take a look at the attached photo. I'll tap start to report back to the team that I'm working on this case. Now, I first need to travel there, and I can use Navigator to do this by tapping the link in Workforce. This automatically uses my current location and the location of the feature to give me a route, and I can choose whether I'm walking or driving. The beauty of Navigator is that it lets you download base maps to your device and navigate offline. Once I've arrived, I will use Survey123 to report information in a survey form. All I need to do is open the link survey123 project directly from Workforce. In this case, the hydrant is so damaged that it is no longer functional. I'll complete the survey to pass the information back onto the team. I'm going to update the feature information using Collector. 
which I can open up in Workforce. I'm going to change the information to show the hydrant is no longer functional and the flow rate has changed. This information has spread through to the team back in the office. They will be able to see my reports through Workforce, Survey123, ArcGIS Online and Operations Dashboard. Here is the Hydrant Inspections group shown in ArcGIS Online. This is where all the maps, layers and applications for this project are stored. I will open the Operations Dashboard application here to get an overview of our project. In Operations Dashboard, I can see the status of my hydrants, workers and assignments. You may also notice that if I click on the broken hydrant, the colour has changed from blue to red, and I can see the updated survey data. It looks like we need to create a new assignment to fix this hydrant. So, that's it for our quick introduction to Workforce for ArcGIS and the integration of some of our field applications. There's plenty more to do with each of these applications and everything you've seen is configurable to your own project needs. If you need to know more, you can contact us at Esri Australia.